realize that your quest to save the world is more rooted in a superiority and savior complex than it is in actual concern for humanity. Based on the potential good that your projects can bring to the world, but you are not the only show in town, and your competition is growing more intense with each passing day. There are plenty of other companies working on space exploration and electric vehicles. The dark web is a part of the deep web. It should be noted that the deep web is a portion of the internet that is not indexed by search engines. The surface web is vast, but it pales in comparison to the size of the deep web and dark web. Some believe that the deep web is about 400 to 500 times larger than the surface web. You cannot access the dark web using a regular browser. To do so, you need to use a browser like the Onion Router or Tor. A study conducted by the University of California in 2001 found that there were 7.5 terabytes of information in the deep web. Now, 22 years later, it is likely that this number has increased by several thousand times. The dark web is a place where all illegal and illicit activities take place. The dark web is a large marketplace for criminals, and it generates at least $5 million in revenue daily. In the dark web, everything is anonymous. Websites forge their IP addresses and identities so that no one knows who is running the site. In the dark web, users cannot use the common currency of countries for transactions. They use Bitcoin or other digital currencies instead. These types of currencies are very popular in the dark web because they are untraceable. Stolen credit cards are often sold on the dark web. Other criminals buy gifts using stolen credit cards and then sell them for a lower price than their actual value. To fully understand this issue, we recommend watching the movie, Hacker 2016. If you are one of those people who are afraid of the apocalypse, you should know that there is a place in the dark web called the Strategic Intelligence Network that provides information about surviving nuclear war and other catastrophic events. It is interesting to note that although Tor is thought to be a private system, an American journalist named Yasha Levine has found evidence that the US government funded this project. Unfortunately, one of the darkest parts of the dark web is the buying and selling of humans. Images of these individuals are captured and then sold to the highest bidder. Officials believe that the dark web is only a small part of the human trafficking market worldwide. In the dark web, people are more vulnerable to malware attacks because many links redirect them to download malware. Just one wrong click can be enough for this to happen. It's even said that the spirits of children are being sold in the dark web. In Thailand and other eastern countries, people believe that voodoo masters can capture the spirits of aborted children and command them to do their bidding. Those who purchase these spirits expect them to fulfill their promises or improve their lives. It's true that international arms trade takes place on the dark web. The United States is the largest producer of weapons, with 60% of the world's weapons being produced there. That's why if you search on the dark web, you can find all kinds of weapons, from Kalashnikovs to missiles. The situation is worse on the Cruel Onion Wiki. It is said that there are images of women crushing small animals and animal infants under their feet on that website. The website has been shut down and relaunched multiple times. In the darker corners of the dark web, there are places called Red Rooms. Here, videos of individuals being tortured in a room are broadcasted. It is said that people pay money to watch these videos. Thank you.